I suppose, I suppose, I suppose my behaviors have isolated me from my fellow man. But in between pinching strangers' noses to keep them from spreading disease, I find myself encountering souls from past lives. This one, a brother from long ago. Our last breaths were shared defending a lost land side by side. Only for he to be reborn into struggle. Trekking across an asphalt strip my people have made so hazardous for him. In an act of fraternal solidarity, I cast you further toward your destination. Godspeed, weary traveler. May our ships pass again soon. But despite these temporary connections, I do find myself ostracized in this life. Perhaps it was after I conjured the maternal adrenaline to flip over a bus, right before it was about to run over a grape. But I still yearn for community, and in search of one have found refuge with an ant colony nearby. Sure, I'm just a worker, the lowest of the colony's ranks, but there is no greater reward than putting yourself in the service of others. They fostered me, an orphan of my own species, and despite having my setbacks, my primitive impulses to play peekaboo, they treat me as one of their own. I'm doing all I can to pull my weight in my new community. I've begun providing infrastructure, as well as livestock. Naturally, I have a hard time accessing the main entry, which is why I have my own satellite location. But while the colony serves one common good, we do have identities. I've anointed myself the name Playboy, as in, we need to set up a rescue mission. Playboy is stuck in a mud hole and Playboy is trying to put another ice cube down the main hole. If only we sapiens could achieve the hive mind. To lay down our concept of nationality, race, gender, and dedicate ourselves to a shared consciousness, there is no predicting what advancements we could make. Sadly, my biological siblings are not programmed for such collaboration. Would you like to build a seesaw with me? The hatred I receive from them serves only to remind me why my new home is so special. Their material desires, all root suffering. Their insistence on meaningless accumulation leaves me to wonder how much longer they have. But their fate is no longer my problem now that I'm in the hive. For once in my life, I have found balance, camaraderie, belonging, home. Hmm. It appears I have been exiled from the colony after accidentally swallowing one of my comrades in my sleep. Well then. Even though I've been rejected by my former comrades, I will nevertheless carry their story. Their names will not be forgotten. I will instill their memories into everyone I meet afterwards. For I have gained so much more than they ever could from me. This beautiful, synchronized, thriving metropolis. <laughs>